Hey, what's going on? So, please excuse my potato cam video and my terrible hand-drawn images here, but I just wanted to make this video real quick to sort of explain how to get everything set up. So we've got the Zen. These are our uh, controller ports. Here's the auth port, our PC programming cable, and the port that we use to connect to our console or PC if we want to play. This is my USB switch and the way you get everything set up if you do not have a switch just plug your mouse and keyboard directly into the Zen and then you plug the Zen straight to your PC from the programming cable here whenever you get ready to connect and play your game make sure that the um, the programming cable on the side here is not plugged in only have your uh, the, the micro USB in the back which is for connecting to play only have that one connected until the uh, the PC recognizes your, your Zen as a actual controller device because if you have it connected through the PC side first the Zen will already be powered up, has gone through its boot sequence and won't communicate with anything because it's already on and it doesn't know that it needs to be talking to something so as soon as the Zen powers on the first thing that it needs to see is either your console or your PC if that's what you're playing on so connect with the, uh, the micro USB in the back if you're using the Sabrent USB switch, like what I use in my videos, you take your mouse and keyboard and you plug them into uh, the female ports. So your mouse and keyboard will be plugged into the switch, or into the USB, uh, USB switch rather. And then the USB switch has four male USBs that come out. So you'll take one of the USBs, plug it into the controller port of your Zen here, and then take the other USB and plug it into your PC. So now what you have going on is your Zen is connected to your PC through the micro USB in the back. This tells your PC that, hey, this is the controller that I'm using. And then you take your mouse and keyboard, plug it into the USB switch. The USB switch then connects your mouse and keyboard to the Zen. So mouse and keyboard go into the switch, out the switch, into the Zen, into the PC, and the PC thinks it's a controller. Now if you need to navigate your desktop, file explorer, open the game, whatever, obviously if your mouse and keyboard are connected to the Zen and the Zen only sees, you know, is only seen as a controller, your mouse and keyboard are not going to control your PC. That's where the USB switch comes in. So with both of these uh, male USBs, I'm actually able to control the PC side, like Windows, as well as emulate a controller using the Zen. All you have to do is tap this little button and it changes which one of these it's it's communicating through. So whenever I connect my mouse and keyboard it'll connect to the Zen, I can control the Zen. If I decide oh I need to close my game, check Facebook, check, check Discord, whatever, smash this button over here and it'll automatically unpair these from this straight to the PC and I can you know use my, my computer as normal. I really hope that this helped clear everything up for you. Um, the USB hub that I use, I only had that on the programming side, and that's only so I don't have to crawl back behind my computer and un un you know, plug and unplug the, uh, the Zen whenever I need to drop a script or a game pack or mess with mouse settings. So again, mouse and keyboard with no switch, just go straight into the Zen and will only be seen as a controller. So if you need to control your PC, you'll have to unplug them, plug them straight to the PC, and then you can control your PC like normal unplug again, plug back into the Zen, and then they'll be seen as a, as a controller. You can also get a second mouse, and then you know, you're able to use the second mouse on your PC side since your main mouse and keyboard are connected as a controller, and you can open your game and do whatever that way. Uh, a lot of people do that. Or you can get a switch, connect the mouse and keyboard to the switch, connect the switch to the Zen and the PC, and then to toggle between either of them, all you have to do is smash that button, and your mouse and keyboard go from emulating a controller to acting like a regular mouse and keyboard connected directly to the PC. I hope this is clear. I hope it helps you out. Uh, I'm at work. I can't do anything more proper right now. But if you need some more help getting set up, just let me know.